I'd marry my husband about 10 years earlier when he asked me the first time. Wow. In the sea of fucked up stories that's actually so refreshing to hear. Wow, I feel like a heel. Nope. It's pretty good now but it's one of those if I knew then what I know now situations. Sometimes the pain isn't worth the reward. And I definitely wouldn't do it again. Edit. Spelling. Yep same. Somehow I'm not even the main character in my own life story anymore. I'm like the backup dancer to everyone else's show. Dot. Would be nice to just do my own thing and put as much effort into a solo tour? I think it would have been a very different life. Dot. It seems so peaceful and easy thinking about having just your single self to look after and make decisions around. Yes. I'm extremely happy and in love with my partner. We've been happily married for more than 15 years, and we have a wonderful relationship. We are both very happy to be married to each other. Same. For 30 years. No. Was married for 25 years and I gave that man, our marriage, our family and home my all. I was not enough for him or his family and the bad times outweighed the good times. Been divorced for 11 years now and have spent that time rebuilding my finances, never-ending project, hunkering down in my career, and raising my children alone. I have not dated. I live alone and have a best friend with benefits when our schedules coincide, we have a ton of fun together. There's something magical about life when it's quiet, simple, peaceful. When I was married, I never knew such a life even existed. Purple Heart Absolutely. I love my partner to pieces and he definitely enhances my life and has encouraged a lot of self-growth. We communicate well, he's affectionate, he listens, does his share of the partnership. Plus, that tongue game is strong, let me tell you. Girl, same. And he'll literally beg to eat me out sometimes. I'm absolutely one of the lucky ladies and I'm never letting him go just for that alone. He also always encourages me to pursue my dreams, something I've never had in my life before. I would be a much different, much less happy and confident woman without him in my life. I would get married again. To the person I divorced, no. No. This is not a marriage. This is me being held back in life by someone who has no goals or ambition in life. They do not want to grow as a person and is unwilling to let me grow either. I have been with them since I was 19 and they were 30. I now realize our relationship was never equitable and I doubt it ever will be. Dot. I feel myself getting to the point of leaving solely because I want more from life and a romantic partner. Do it. You deserve better and time doesn't wait for anyone. No, he wants a secretary, maid, cook. You should read Judy Brady's, I Want a Wife, feminist essay. It's online, short, like a page or two, and satire. Read it in my women's and gender studies course, but I could definitely see you resonating with it like I did. Yes, but to a woman. Turns out I'm a bit gay. Literally same answer. Turns out the whole, marry your best friend not the hottest guy, got derailed when I realized there were a lot of hotter women than my best friend I married. Still good friends though. No. Marriage makes it too hard and expensive to leave. Absolutely yes. Dated a lot of people who were wrong for me. Married someone who was right for me. Got close with a couple exes but thankfully never pulled the trigger. Why yes, because having a teammate who respects me and helps balance out the things I have trouble with, and doing the same in return for them, makes life feel good. It's what family is supposed to be like. Not everyone needs to get married to experience that, but for me, the symbolism of having someone publicly declare their love and respect for me, and vice versa, was pretty special. Reddit seems really really down on marriage, to the point where if I say I'm happily married, I brace for the downvotes and nasty comments. A good marriage is magical. A bad marriage can be very very bad, sometimes tragically so. Both outcomes are possible, and you can even experience both in one lifetime. Preach hooray. Yeah, I think I would do the same marriage over again. It's been my only marriage so far and I think it went pretty well. I absolutely would. My only regret is that I didn't meet him sooner. This comment section makes me sad. As someone who was in an unfulfilled marriage, you guys don't have to settle. You only get one life. Why waste it being unhappy? No one is living or dying for you. You don't owe anyone anything. 
You don't owe anyone their happiness and comfort at the expense of your own. You don't owe someone a maid and a cook and a childcare worker and a human sex toy. You only owe yourself. So choose yourself. Don't live in regret. I still kick myself in the ass every day for wasting 12 years of my life with someone who didn't and wouldn't even try to make me happy. But I pat myself on the back too for having the strength to leave. Then I married my best friend and every day is better than the last. As someone getting out of a very difficult and unfulfilling relationship, I'm happy to hear there is hope on the other side. I'm glad you found your favorite person and living your best life. My answer to this changes all the time. At the moment, no. Thank you for this comment. Shows that this issue can't always be answered in black and white terms. I'd go back and get married to him earlier because I really do believe that he's my life partner. Yes, exactly how I feel. Sad I missed out of those younger years with him. Nope on a rope. It is so fucking hard. Especially with kids in your life. I'm not saying I wouldn't go through what I've gone through, because with this partnership came my two beautiful kiddos, but if I could redo marriage, I would have waited till my early 30s to really begin anything as serious as marriage. No one is really fully mature at 25 that's for sure. Honestly, no, I miss having time by myself. My husband just want to stay home all the time and not really do much. Same and I'm sick of it. I feel like I've watered myself down so much just to be married to someone and to baby their insecurities. Yeah, no. Mine was brief was once we got married he did a complete 180 and turned into a complete a whole. Same here. Fuck these people who change in an instant and lose everything that makes them a good person. I've been married for 48 years. Yes, I would do it again, but I'd wait until I was older. Dot. I married when I had just turned 21. My husband was 19. We were both in college, and very immature. It took a long time for us to grow up. I would never do it again. I miss my individuality, my own space, my freedom to think of only me. I'm so tired of having to be patient for my husband and kids. I would live alone, only have dogs and play the field and a great vibrator. Relatable on the vibrator comment. No. Way. I was duped. He has even admitted, now that we're married, to pretending to be something he's not just so I would marry him. Like, why dude? Why would you trick someone into marrying you? I just can't wrap my head around it. Similar story here. For years I had no idea who he really was. I would not have married someone with so many sex issues. That part of my life is ruined. I would marry my husband again a million times. Fuck no. I got married too young out of lust and irrational fear. I would rather be single for life, with a strong circle of friends, and have one or two fuck buddies and friends with benefits for life. This was me with my first husband. I was so young and just, ugh, stupid. Scared to be alone. Wanted to be loved and have someone pay attention to me. Lost a part of myself in the process. What a big fat fail. Dot. I met my current husband while separated from this bonehead. I wasn't looking for him, I had swore off that sort of commitment and yet there he was. We didn't marry until five years after that first encounter. For him I would do it all over again. He is a good man and a great father. He is my love. Yep. Was fortunate to get it right the first time. It helped that we were late twenties with jobs and independent lives when we met. No. I will stay solo and so all the stuff I can't do now that I am bound down. Like moving to another country and be with my family there. Can't do that now as he is a lazy ass and would never seek adventure sadly. Leave him. You got one life. Squeeze as much happiness as you can out of it. I'd marry the one I ought to have married instead of the one I did marry. There's one heck of a story here, I'm guessing. Yes I would and yes to the same man but not a big wedding. I look back on that now and all the anxiety and stress it caused us plus the anger BC of others trying to get their way. Nope. Should have had Elvis marry us. Yes. Married young at 21 and married 32 years. We've had some ups and downs over the years but we've built a beautiful life together. He's my best friend and we're spending time traveling the world together now that all the kids are gone. Absolutely. My husband is a great partner, father and provider. He pulls his weight with the chores and helping with school work, projects. 
The only thing I'd change is marrying him sooner. Not a chance. My life is way too stressful married. I love him, but no. I would country hop and take lovers wherever I am until I die. I ah, love this answer. Absolutely me too. Absolutely. It's been a fantastic ride so far.